you're actually gonna see two Pixel 4 phones. So basically what we're going to see so is he talks a little bit about some look. of this and we get to see a couple little interesting things. So they're doing a pop-up camera like a couple other phones have done in the past. So they're trying to maximize the screen uh, to body ratio to get rid of the bezels. That top notch basically is what they basically removed with this. So good there. You can actually also, he mentions there is a case on this. So some of the reflection and uh, see-through glass. We'll see a better picture of this in just a second. I think we get to see, but it gets a close-up shot of it. Uh, not quite there, but we get to see some more close-up shots. Here it was right there. So we get to see a little bit of the case going on. So that is pretty interesting. So he gives a lot of different, uh, they, he doesn't reveal a source. It could be Evan Blast. Evan Blast has a lot of different uh, leaks and stuff, but if he got the information himself, he couldn't technically leak it. It'd be pretty obvious who where it came from at that point. So the other things we kind of saw were the double camera. So this is the first time a Pixel phone is doing double cameras on the rear. And that is going to most likely be the ultra wide camera because like uh, Marquez says, you can't fake that with software. So they actually are finally doing that because they've basically been knocked off the DxO mark, the top 10 list through all the Huawei phones and all the Samsung phones and even maybe the Apple's newest one might have knocked them off too. So they really have to step up, step up their camera game, which they are obviously now doing. And we also get some other details about hardware specs from Marquez's video. We get to see, we get, he mentions the Snapdragon 855, eight gigs of RAM, and somehow they're keeping in the squeeze feature in there too. So the Pixel 4 is going to be a very leaked phone, just like all the other phones are being leaked right now. While ahead of their launch, we'll basically know every single detail. And pretty interesting, they're going up with the pop-up camera like Oppo. He also mentions uh, all the similarities between the two. Uh, one he missed was two O's in the name, Google and Oppo two O's. So that's uh, something else he kind of left out. But uh, the other big thing, so this is the Pixel 4, and they also show off technically he shows off a little bit about the Pixel 4 Ultra. So we're still waiting on the Pixel 3 Lite. I'm pretty sure that hasn't come out yet, but this is uh, the actual coming from a Dave 2D with some hands on with this. So you'll actually have to, I think he links, sends people over to his video as well, but check out all of Marquez's videos, seven minutes. He goes over, over all the good details. If you're super excited to upgrade that Pixel 3 or an older version Pixel phone to the newest, Pixel 4 and hopefully they can get back on the DxO mark. Hopefully they can do some really cool stuff with the camera and the software because everybody's basically been waiting for that. And uh, other things that technically are confirming this came out the same day reported by all the news outlets. Google has stopped selling the Pixel 2 and 2XL. So that just means that the Pixel 4 is coming and probably coming very soon. So that could be good for everyone who likes Pixel camera phones. So hopefully they do good with that. And another little news, phone news, we get T-Mobile. They are doing their phone booth E. So a couple little small things about this. It's not rolling out everywhere. It's a very limited rollout, it looks like. And basically it's just kind of like a phone booth, but soundproof. So soundproof glass seals and stuff like that. And there's a couple other T-Mobile things in there, but um, this is again, a limited rollout, just a couple of cities, uh, New York, Washington, DC, and Seattle. and. If it goes well, they'll probably continue to expand into cities across the U.S. We're not 100% sure. Uh, if It probably only depend on if customers like it. Uh, the only places these will really work are maybe airports, noisy places. Uh, maybe potentially they could move these to events temporarily, something like Amazon doing with their shipping thing for the, the Coachella thing going on there. So that could be a potential use. And they also take a shot at AT&T with their Booth E naming scheme. They threw a little E on the end. So uh, again, limited rollout, uh, very few places. We'll see if it, I can get in one, that would be pretty cool. And that's with the phone news for today. We also get to see ROG from ASUS. We get to see a Swift PG360. So this is actually, I believe the world's first 360 monitor. And this is more like a CES experiment. I'm not sure if they're actually rolling this out. There's no date, no price. The Google Pixel 4 didn't get a price, anything like that. But this is equivalent of nine 1080p curved monitors uh, basically surrounding you. Again, this probably may never actually come to market. And also some interesting little things we don't see are, we can't really see if there's bezels in between uh, the actual monitor's connections 
or if they've somehow done away with that. That could be pretty interesting and some other little things to make this kind of seem like it won't really uh, be mainstream is it looks like there's a couple different stands so minimum there'll be one to two stands so I'm not sure if you would need two desks or you would have to somehow figure out a mounting solution for your ceiling I'm not quite sure but there also could be I can't really tell if that's a third uh, actual mount that that sits on but that could make it not super uh, good for people's usability but uh, pretty interesting either way a 360 monitor that's going to be super expensive on top of any other issues that this might have but pretty interesting uh, so that's you're going to need a graphics card to power this basically nine 1080p monitors so that's more than two 4k monitors so you'll definitely need the graphics power for that and the response rate isn't the absolute lowest it's a three millisecond response time so not quite the one millisecond so a lot of the eSport gamer people are looking for and it looks like a 360 Hertz refresh rate so I'm not sure if they're overclocking some 240 Hertz panel or what curved panels have that high of a Hertz refresh rate that is pretty high up there and again you'll have to drive a pretty uh, beefy graphics card for that and that could again be expensive no release date no price for this uh, pretty pretty computer electronic show kind of showing of a future tech that could be coming so pretty interesting there and lastly some other gaming computer tech uh, things noble chairs is doing a co-op chair this is kind of interesting it only has two armrests uh, the point is to I guess for gamers who are married this could be an interesting co-op chair you could play with your married to loved one that would be pretty cool and some other little things from this is there is some kind of height adjustment so you can raise it and lower it or tilt it and have someone lean on you I guess technically it doesn't show if it can recline or not so they don't have any back pictures or anything not like that but this is going to be available from overclockers UK there's no price yet but it does say coming soon so this is pretty unique could be expensive chair not sure how many people are doing a lot of co-ops how many gamers are actually married or not that could be uh, something interesting to see whether we do uh, makes it in the market and is popular or not we have mark saying choo choo a couple of comments lulu saying double cameras so you're excited for the pixel actually going beyond one camera finally and superheroes need to change clothes i guess that's the phone booth how would you get in and out of a 360 monitor so that would probably have to do something you'd need some custom solution like a stand-up desk Potentially, it'd be really expensive then to get it on your ceiling, but you're already paying a huge amount for however much the, the monitor costs. So we'll have to see how that works. And, but how many people fit in that phone booth? Coachella people will find out for sure. So yeah, that would be uh, the only real good places at airports to put those phone booths and events where you would need some sound. Something we forgot to mention, there's actually a screen inside the phone booth and a charger for phones so that would be pretty interesting some extra uses for that but uh, a lot of cool tech topics today some interesting concept ideas with that ROG monitor I wonder how much that would actually cost it could get pretty expensive but with that we will have another episode tomorrow at 1 p.m pacific with some more tech and game news and with that we will be signing out pew 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 pew